Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. So you're not satisfied with Windows 10 and you want to go back to Windows 7 Service Pack 1. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now off the bat, you want to make sure that you have the Windows.old folder inside your C drive. So I'm going to show you guys go inside your Fire Explorer. So let's go to Start and let's go to Fire Explorer and let's go to this PC. C drive and make sure you have the Windows dot old folder. Now, if you do not have that folder within the C drive, that means you did not do an upgrade. That means you did a completely wipe and an installation and you basically lost everything. That's not a good thing. Now, Microsoft, their main goal is to do an upgrade. So it's not a wipe and clean. OK, so I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade uh, your Windows 10 to your old operating system. It's pretty easy. So you want to go to start or the new start menu of Windows 10. You want to go to settings. Within settings, once that loads up, you want to go into update and security. Within update and security, you want to go into the recovery section. Now, if everything goes well with your upgrade, you're going to see that nice, beautiful option that says go back to Windows 7. Awesome. Now, this option is only available for a month after you upgrade to your Windows 10. So that means you guys have a complete good month before you decide to go back into your old machine so i would say test all your files make sure all your programs are running make sure that you're comfortable with the new operating system if you're not you have this option for one month all you have to do is just get started click on that button now this process is going to take a little while i would say the downtime is between an hour to two hours but that's it guys this is how you will revert back into your old operating system now it gives you a nice little question why are you going back well, you could be honest and tell them, I don't like Windows 10 at all. I just want my old operating system. Or you could just choose the options that they gave you. My apps or devices don't work on Windows 10. Windows 7 seems easier to use. Windows 7 seems faster. Windows 7 seems more reliable. Or for another reason. I would say I'm just going to pick Windows 7 seems more reliable. You click on Next. Uh, what you need to know, this might take a while, like I I kind of said to you guys earlier, uh, after going back, you would you would have to reinstall some programs. So this kind of sucks. So there's a possibility that some of the software that you had on your Windows 7 was removed during the upgrade. So yeah, it means you have to reinstall it again. Or if you was already playing around with Windows 10 and you install software, you probably need to reinstall it again on the Windows 7 platform. So let's click on next on that. Uh, don't get locked out, blah, blah, blah. Let's click on next on that and click on go back to windows 7 again this process is going to take a while uh, and that's it guys that is how you downgrade your windows 10 to go back to windows 7 hopefully you guys enjoy this video leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy and i catch you guys on the next one peace out